Welcome to part two of making this epic sci-fi orb environment in Blender. If you haven't already seen part one where we took care of all the modeling and stuff like that, you can go check it out on my channel. But this is part two, we're gonna be covering the materials, the lighting and the volumetrics and the final rendering. So if this is um, something that's interesting to you, uh, keep watching and definitely if you haven't seen part one, go and check it out. So let's get started with part two. So first of all, make sure you go to your render settings and we're gonna be working with cycles. So come to the dropdown and make it cycles. If you have a GPU, I would recommend you enable that over CPU, but CPU should do fine. And then we're also gonna go over to our material settings and we're gonna select this orb here and we're gonna go new and give it its first material. And let's just call it orb. And in fact, before we go any further of adding the materials, let's just quickly add in some lights because obviously we want to see what we're doing. So let's quickly go Shift A. Let's just go over to our light settings. I'm going to add in an area light. And I'm going to grab this area light. I'm going to go to my front view. And I'm going to go G. Oop, G, and I'm going to move it here to the side. I'm going to go R to rotate it in towards the orb, like so, and move it out a bit. And I come here to the size. I'm going to just increase it a bit. Then I'm going to come to the strength. I'm going to make it 195. And I'm going to come to the color here and I'm going to make it slightly orange, like that, not too saturated. Then I'm going to hit zero to go to my camera view. I'm going to hit Z and I'm going to go render it. Also, if you go Control B and you click in your screen and you drag this box across the camera, it'll kind of refrain from rendering outside the camera and only show you your render inside of the camera view. Um, which just helps a lot, kind of cleans your workspace up a bit. So you can now see this is the kind of lighting we have. It's kind of like almost sunset kind of lighting. Um, if you think it's a little bit too sharp here, you can just come to the size of the light and just increase it a bit more to soften up that light. But at the moment, this is kind of what we're going for. And then we're gonna come here to our world settings and we're gonna to come to the color and we're gonna make it kind of like a navy kind of blue, not too saturated, it's just something like that kind of like an evening, kind of nighttime sort of light situation going on there. And now we're just gonna add a few more little point lights. So we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go over to our lights, add in a point light. And I'm just gonna quickly go into solid view and go G, I'm gonna move this light up behind the orb. So somewhere about there. And I'm gonna come to the light settings. I'm gonna make the strength of that point light 35. And I'm gonna make it kind of like a bluish kind of light like that. And I'm also gonna increase the size of it or the radius up a little bit to about that much. And I'm gonna move it behind here. I'm gonna go Z, I'm gonna go into rendered view and we should be able to see something like that. So I'm gonna move it more up to about here. Then I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate. I'm gonna move one behind here, kind of behind those cables, just for a little bit of rim lighting. And I'm gonna go Shift D one more time and bring one down here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Shift D, bring another one over here, but this one, we're gonna make slightly orange, like so. And we're gonna increase the strength of that a little bit and also the radius. Then we're gonna go Z, go render it, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Only thing is I'm just, I'm just going to move this light back a little bit more to about there. Okay, so now we have our lighting set up. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna start adding some basic materials. So let's start by selecting our ground here and let's go over to our shading workspace and let's go and create a new material for the ground and let's call it ground. Okay, so we have this ground object selected. We've just given it a material and all we're gonna do is come here to the base color and we're gonna make it kind of like a muddyish kind of brown and then we're gonna come to the roughness and we're gonna actually bring it up just a little bit. We're then gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go search and get a noise texture get the noise texture, and we're gonna plug the color into the normal here, which isn't gonna do anything. So we need to go Shift A, search, type in bump, get a bump node, and then place it on that cable, and make sure this is plugged into the height. And then gonna move this noise texture out a bit, and we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're now gonna type in color, and we get a color ramp, and we're gonna place this color ramp in between the noise texture and the bump. Once again, make sure it's going into the height. And then we're gonna come here to the scale and we're gonna make it 120. So 120 on the scale. And let's come here to the strength. We're gonna make the strength 0.01. And we're gonna hit enter. So now let's hit Z and let's go render it and let's see what that looks like. Cool, so you can see that is kind of what we're having here at the moment. 
And what you can do is you can grab these sliders here on the color ramp and you can drag them closer together. That's gonna to give you a little bit more contrast on the bumpy material here. In fact, let's just hit Control B and just limit the render size on the camera just so it's a little bit smaller so it's not so processor intensive and we can see here kind of what's going on. Okay, so let's just increase the strength maybe to 0.1 and see what that looks like. Okay, now the strength is coming through a lot better and now you can see if you drag these value sliders here, we can increase the strength here. In fact, I'm just gonna take the scale and I'm gonna make it something like 200 instead. Mess around with it here, you get something you like. So 200 should be fine and that's what we kind of have at the moment. So let's quickly go Control B and just select everything and now we can see that's what we have. So now let's select the orb. We've already given it that orb material but all we're gonna do with that orb is we're gonna come here to the roughness and just drag that value up a little bit and we're also gonna grab the orb color and we're gonna bring that um, white value down in its value a little bit. So something like that. We're then gonna select the cables. We're gonna give them a new material and we're just gonna make them kind of almost like a dark gray, almost black. And then select the other cables. Make sure they're all selected. Holding and shift select that cable we added the material to. Then go control L and we're just gonna link the materials. So now if we hit Z and we go rendered, all of those cables should have that darker material and that's looking pretty cool. So what is this really gonna start getting interesting is when we select the orb and we go into edit mode and make sure to select all of those you know, faces at the back there and then go to your materials, click plus and assign and create a new material and then click on the surface here and then make it an emissive material. And let's make the strength 12. Let's make the color a nice kind of orangey color. Now that we've assigned it to those faces and we hit Z and we go rendered, we're gonna see we have that nice glow inside which looks absolutely awesome. And another thing I did is, in fact, let's quickly come to your viewport display and just change the color so you can see it's been applied. Let's just go to our face select option and shift alt, click on the back edge inside of there and just select these faces on the inside and just assign that glow material to that as well. So now if we hit Z and we go rendered in our camera view, we're gonna see we have that, which looks just absolutely awesome. And another thing we can do is just select this duplicated ring that we made in part one, click new, give that its own material and come to the surface here, make it an emission. But we're gonna give the strength here something like 22. And we're gonna come to the color and make it kind of like almost a purplish kind of color, like so. And now if we hit Z and we go rendered, this is what you're gonna see. So it's looking pretty cool, but the thing that's really gonna make this stand out is going to be the volume metrics. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. So let's quickly save everything, make sure it's all saved. Go back to your layout. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go Shift A, and we're gonna to go to our mesh options, add in a cube. And let's go over to our, our object properties tab here. We're gonna go down to the viewport display. Come to the display as, and let's make that wire. So now this is, see through and we can go S to scale it up to about that much. And then we're gonna go S, Y and scale it along to Y. G, Y, move it back to about there. So that's all we need. And we're also gonna move it up a little bit. Make sure to go Control A and apply that scale. Okay, so just something that encompasses our camera, the scene at the front here and the orb and a little bit of the mountain range at the back. And then we're gonna go to our materials. We're gonna click new. And then we're gonna to come to the surface here and we're gonna make this a principled volume. So a principled volume. Then we're gonna to go to our shader settings. And if we now hit Z and you go render it, you're gonna see. So for whatever reason I had issues there with it, so I'm just gonna select the volume object here again. And I'm just gonna give it a new material. So I got rid of that material we created. So I'm just gonna give it a new material. And I'm just gonna select the principled shader here. I'm gonna hit X to delete it. Then I'm gonna go Shift A. I'm gonna go search and just type in the volume. And I get a volume, principled volume. You can see we still don't see anything, so we just need to come here and take this surface and plug it into the volume. So now we can see we have some volumetrics happening here. The density is set to 0.1, and that should be fine. So if we now go into our camera view and we're in our rendered mode, you can see we have this nice atmospheric look here. So if we set this to 0.02, for example, then you can say it's, see it's a lot smaller, but I think something like 0.1 or even 0.15 should be fine. Okay, maybe 0.15 is too much. Let's just try 0.1. And that's giving us some nice volumetrics. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save all of this. 
we now have our volume thing over our scene here, which is gonna give us some volume stuff, which looks really cool. So we're now gonna quickly go to our render settings. Just come to denoising and just click on the render here for denoising. And I'm just gonna leave it as the default here. Make sure to save and then go render and just quickly render the image and let's see what that looks like so far. And there we have the final render. I think that looks pretty good. Now, when it comes to the composition and how you pose the cables and things, spend as much time as you want on that. Like I said, this is just me making a tutorial and I think this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it, but mess around with the um, poses as much as you want, how you place things and try and kind of try and take this general idea, but run with it a little bit, see what you guys can come up with. So this has been part two of how to um, make this sci-fi cinematic orb looking thing and uh, you know whatever you want to call it so if you haven't already seen part one like i said go ahead check it out on my channel and i hope you guys are able to make something really cool with that so um yeah hopefully it wasn't too hard and as always i'll be making these blend files available on my patreon so you can check that out in the description as well i hope you guys stay safe and i'll see you next time for another tutorial